DS7 SUV leaks online ahead of Geneva debut. A mid-sized Q5 rival from DS is due early next year, and a brand blog site has spotted it on the road. The DS7 SUV, which hopes to rival German premium models such as the Audi Q5, has been revealed online by a Citroën blog site ahead of an expected official at the Geneva Motor Show. The single image from Citroën Feng shows what appears to be the finished version of the brand's first SUV in Europe. DS is also preparing to launch a smaller Audi Q2 rival and other distinctively styled mainstream models in quick succession. Following its likely reveal at Geneva Motor Show in March, the Q5 rival, set to be called DS7, will go on sale in early 2018. Its success is seen as crucial to DS's goal of taking on the likes of Audi, BMW, and Mercedes. DS plans to offer an alternative take on luxury by drawing on the heritage and reputation of French craftsmanship and fashion leadership. DS showed a striking SUV concept called the Wild Rubus at the Shanghai Motor Show in 2013 and has sold the more conventional DS6 SUV in China since 2014. However, the leaked image shows the Q5 rival to be an all-new design, with some styling influences from the Wild Rubus. Sitting on the PSA Group's EMP2 platform, the SUV will be the Halo model in DS's lineup and introduce a different design theme from the brand's current 3, 4, and 5 range. It will feature sharper exterior styling and upgraded interior quality that bosses believe will shine a spotlight on DS's emerging characteristics. Avant-garde styling is one of the key pillars of the DS brand, DS boss Yves Bonfant told Autocar. Combine that with benchmark technology and connectivity, faultless quality and refinement and dynamics attuned to a comforting balance between sport and serenity and you have our DNA. Our rivals are at least 25 years old. We want to be born modern and arrive with the very latest technologies. The new SUV is expected to be a technology standard bearer for PSA. It will be the first car sold with the group's new 1.5-liter diesel DVR engine and its first plug-in hybrid powertrain, as well as other mainstream petrol and diesel units. A range-topping petrol-powered performance model with about 240 bhp is expected. The DVR diesel will replace PSA's 1.4-liter and 1.6-liter diesels. It will be offered with power outputs of up to 130 bhp and be notable for its emissions reduction technology. It is expected to be sold with the option of an all-new, ultra-efficient 8-speed automatic transmission. Company bosses have long hinted that DS will be the first PSA brand to offer plug-in hybrid, FEV, and fully electric technology. All electric drivetrains are expected to be launched with the next generation DS3 and its equivalent SUV, which will be the first PSA models to sit on the new CMP platform that has been CO developed with Chinese partner and part owner Dongfeng. DS has seen its market share in Europe slip slightly since it formally split from Citroën in 2015, although accounting is difficult due to the non separation of sales prior to the separation. Likewise, it has lost some ground in China, although this is largely in line with changing market trends and rising demand for home-built subs. We are not worried by selling fewer cars, as long as profits are rising, said PSA chief Carlos Tavares. You cannot build a premium brand overnight and you cannot build it by selling high volumes of cars at high discounts. We have a job to do, and if that means reducing volume slightly, that is okay. Later next year, DS will launch a smaller SUV with even more dramatic styling than that of the Q5 rival, followed by a revamped 3, 4, and 5 range. A large GT in the vein of the 2014 Numero 9 concept is also possible before the end of the decade in order to build brand cachet.